Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time FPV Edition. So a long time ago when I first got started in RC models, I tried FPV and I tried to do it cheap and it really didn't work. So I've spent a bunch of time learning about RC model planes, RD Pilot and uh, a lot of the technology and finally I've gotten to the point where, well, I need to try it again and this time I'm going to do it properly. So what we have here is what I've decided to get into FPV flying, FPV RC plane, FPV Ardu pilot uh, properly. And that will be, and when I say properly, if you've picked up uh, anything from me so far, then the answer is it's got to be digital. And that was probably the mistake that I made way back, thinking that analog was gonna work. And I mean, I was skeptical, but it seemed to be where the, the hobby was at when I uh, got into it. Uh, digital seemed to be like uh, a new thing, which is really weird in 2021 when I got started to me uh, coming from IT to think that that we were doing analog anything, um, it was kind of strange. Well, uh, things have moved. Things have moved. And uh, a lot of people have now moved into digital and FTPV. Uh, if you watch the big names uh, on all the drone channels, everybody's doing uh, digital FPV now. And well, I'm gonna do it too. So next question, what have I decided to do? And because there's there's some interesting new players out in the digital FPV market, and I'm not gonna get into all of that. You can go and have a look. You can see all kinds of stuff about what the options are around digital FPV. This is what Tim the Plain Man is gonna do for a digital FPV. And this is going to be my digital FPV project for the next little while, my digital FPV experience connecting this digital FPV system into my FPV planes, my VTOL planes, my aerobatic planes. This is gonna be the next adventure for Tim the Plane Man. So let's have a look inside and take a look at what I've chosen compared to the many other options for FPV and digital FPV that are out there. So this is kind of symbolic. Well, it's not even open. Okay, so in this box we have a brand new HD0 FPV goggle. This is what Tim the Plane Man is going to use for digital FPV. Some of you might be shocked because you might think that I'd go with walk snail. And the answer to that is the new walk snail goggle X is brand new as I make this video. You can't even buy it. You can only buy it on pre-order, so I'm guessing hopefully for delivery by Christmas, A. Secondly, it's actually a release one product because the Walks previous Walk Snail goggle, the Avatar goggle was really um, a rebranded version and wasn't original manufacturer. Well, this, the, the Walk Snail goggle X is, is brand new, it's a new design. Uh, and there is going to be glitches and there's going to be problems. And the way that they're building it, it's quite likely that in six months to a year from now, it might be ready. But this goggle was released a year ago and this goggle has gone through those uh, teething problems and uh, bug fixes and improvements and is now solid and has all the things that you want, all the things that I want. And we'll, we'll have a quick look at that 
but this is going to be this is going to be the goggle. Now, before I open like open open the box on this one, let's just take a look at what else I've got in here. What I have here is True RC antennas. This pack, in fact, didn't really come together with this, but I ordered it at the same time specifically for this. It fits. Um, this is the Canadian company, True RC. This is, as far as I understand it, the best set of antennas that you can get for the, um, not just the HT0, but generally, you know, they're great. Um, they're really good, highly recommended. And this particular kit is specifically designed to fit on this goggle. So we'll have a look at that as we go. Uh, this came separately too. This is the uh, HD0 BTX programmer kit or cable. It was actually, as far as I understand it, you have to buy this separately. And so I did. Now what we have here are two other pieces, which hopefully, well, this one will be, this is the, the brand new and it's interesting, it doesn't even say it on the box, but I can read it on the back. This is the Freestyle V2 kit. And this, to a certain extent, is one of the reasons why I matched it with this. Um, because what I found when I started reading up or reviewing and uh, researching the, the goggles that I wanted to get is that the standard VTX and camera were, mm, you know, people weren't raving about it. And then this was released, probably about two months ago. And when you put this new version of the video transmitter and camera in your plane, quad, uh, whatever it is, um, and then connect it to the HD Zero goggle, then you, as far as I can see, have a really well-designed, solid um, kit, HD kit that is exactly what I need. The last piece we've got here is the HD Zero Goggle Expansion Module. Now this is one of the other reasons why I really like this specific um, kit and design. This expansion model does two things. One is it does allow you to do analog. I'm not even sure if I'm even going to try that. Look, I might, but I don't really care that much about analog. I have a couple of analog video transmitters that I have used and that still technically might work. But what this will do is enable uh, wireless streaming of the video from the goggles to a screen that is set up nearby. And this is something that I absolutely want to have. I want to be able to have spectators to be able to see what I can see in the goggles and maybe, maybe, uh, to be able to live stream it, which would be kind of interesting. And I think this might give me the option to do that. Uh, I will try to make that work. So let's have a look now at what's in the packages. Let's take a look very quickly at the goggles. There will be no surprises here for anybody who's watched one of the many uh, HD Zero FPV goggle unboxings from the big names out there like Bacon Ninja or uh, Bot Grinder or let's see what other names can I drop? Um, Joshua Bardwell. I mean, they've, they've all done these goggles and look, I, I won't pretend to be an expert. Um, I'm doing this from the point of view of I'm going to learn something new. This is an interest, a new experience for me. I want to, uh, I want to expand my horizons in RC models, and um, and this very beautiful, pack beautifully packaged set of goggles is my pathway into that. So that's just a piece of cardboard, a quick start guide. Awesome. I also have the manual online, which. I have uh, red cover to cover, uh, some stickers. I'm sure I'll find a place for those. All right, let's go for, oh wow, here we go. This, here we have the goggles. And you know what? Uh, they are, well, no surprise, but they're quite beautiful. They're really solid. 
uh, I can tell, you know, I, I feel the, the solid construction. Ooh, that's not going to work over my glasses. And I need to put a faceplate on there and I should be one in here. So we'll, we'll figure that out because there's two different faceplates that come with this, but that's, that's how that's going to work somehow. So I'm also going to have to get the, the antennas on there, but that's, that's the set of goggles. All right, here we go. So in here, I guess we've got a, a set of choices for, I think it goes something like that. And I'll be watching some of the videos online to make sure that I figure out how that goes. And that will be there. That actually feels quite good already. I can see how that might work quite nicely. And uh, here we have the faceplate. Okay, so then here we have our travel bag. And here we have our cable, our power cable with the uh, battery connector. So what will happen is plug in the goggles, plug in a battery, stick the battery in your pocket, got the goggles ready to go. So I think that's good. Now I understood somehow that there's two different sizes of faceplate here. I'm not sure these seem to be the same size. I'm not sure I understand how that works. So I'll have to watch one of the other videos and I won't bore you with that and to figure out exactly how that clips on. Oh, I see. This is, okay. Oh, I get it. All right, so this is one faceplate. This one here is one faceplate and it's already, pre-clipped in because I'd read that there's two different faceplates, right? This one is a second faceplate and it came in the box. I don't need to fit that because if I put that on my face, I clearly can see that's too big for me. My face is not that wide. So I'm going to be going with this one. And that means I need to get the, the foam installed on this faceplate because this is the one that I will be using. It's as simple as that. And I don't need to worry about installing this one because that's just not gonna work for my face. So no problem. Now, there's a bunch of instructions here about um, firing the goggles up, uh, flashing the, the latest version of the firmware. Um, I'll, I'll fire it up first because, you know, my first question will be, well, is uh, there even I need to upgrade the firmware since I got this so recently. I'm wondering if the very, very latest firmware isn't already on the goggles. Well, uh, I guess we'll see. So also we've got a, a strap that goes on somehow. I think that's going to go just this way up. I don't know everyone, but it's like Christmas. This is so much fun. I'm really enjoying opening up something new and then figuring out what I have to do to get it all to work. And this is, okay, I'm gonna say, for the purposes of the unboxing, there we go. That's gonna be, okay, I have to tighten that up a little bit and I'll have to get the foam on. But I think this is gonna be just awesome. So there's the goggles. Now let's have a quick look at the other option, additional components before we let you go. And before we let me go to go off and figure everything out and get it all working. So here we have, and this one's fairly simple and straightforward. This is just the expansion module that goes on and I think it should go on this side here. Uh, I don't know if that pops out or there's a screw that I need to get to. Um, I'm not going to force anything, but I do believe that that fits here on the side and just clips on there. There's an option, there's an ability to put in an analog um, video receiver in there, which I'm not going to do because I only plan to use the 
well, I most likely am not going to do. I, I mean, the main reason why I want this and I paid for it is for the, uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity option. Nothing works without the camera, right? So this will be the camera. And, you know, this will probably be the first of many. But I bought the, the brand new HD0 Freestyle kit, which includes the, let's see if it says it on the box. It does say on the box, and I'm going to need my glasses to read it. So it says, Freestyle VTX, the Nano 90 camera, and a 120 millimeter mini camera, uh, MIPI cable, and an antenna. So pretty much everything I need for the air side for the vehicle to put into a plane. Most likely, I think I'll be putting this into my White Shark to start with. Uh, just a simple foam uh, Arty Pilot um, plane that I have set up and ready because, well, the first thing I'll be doing is connecting all this into my Arty Pilot setup. That will be my training platform. And then once I get that all figured out, I will either buy another camera or move this camera into hopefully the VT Bird, which is, you know, just about back in the air and uh, potentially the Painted Eagle or whatever comes after that. So here we have the Freestyle VTX, beautiful, and the connection and the camera. And as you can see, um, this is actually going to work quite nicely. There's a, there's a, that's quite, that's exactly the right size, I think, for, there's a, a space, um, a little dock on the top of the Painted Eagle. It's almost exactly this size. And uh, this camera, I don't know where I'd mount the camera, probably, you know, it could be, even do a pan tilt option on top of it. But for the first build for the White Shark, um, this will go in the nose. This will go right at the front, right next to it. And there's plenty of airflow. There's a, a hole in the front of the of the plane specifically for an FPV camera. This will be exactly what uh, what is required. There's a mounting a mounting socket and some cables and other things that I'll need to get power and that kind of stuff working. So as you can see, I've got gadgets to play with. And so, oh, and I'll just to mention the last piece here, there is an antenna. Oh no, it's right hand polarized. This antenna is right hand polarized. That's some really unfortunate because I've gone ahead and bought left hand polarized receiver antennas so one of those is going to have to change that is so so unfortunate I uh, yeah I messed up I guess I didn't realize when I was ordering the combo that I needed to think about the antenna because that's just that is just not going to connect well that just really sucks so there we have it there is the complete kit of the uh, HD0 FPV HD FPV goggles that I plan to use in my next adventure in RC model planes. Here is my video transmitter and camera that hopefully I'll install into a, a one or more of my planes when I solve the problem of the the antenna that I got that's got the wrong polarization. Here is the True RC antenna kit that needs to be installed on the front of the the, uh, the goggles and uh, here is the expansion module that will enable me to connect to the goggles with Wi-Fi. So that's it. Uh, there's a lot of even more interesting video that's going to be coming as a result of this. So stay tuned. Tim the Plane Man, over and out. Thank you.